definitely the first time we're recording. Welcome to Apple One to One. We are back here for the podcast episode because I forgot to hit record. So we literally talked for like 20 minutes and not a word of it is going to be available. But I want you to subscribe and like us. Thank you very much for joining us here on our YouTube channel and on our podcast platform. Uh, we are former Apple employees, 20 years experience. I am Will TLD, the former Apple Specialist Creative. Uh, along with me every time that I'm here is the former Apple Creative. Retired book publisher, soccer mom recorder, the Jurassic Park owner, the black coffee drinker, journal number 12, retirement home president, the keto trout drummer, Mr. Frank Funk for the second time. Hey, how you doing, Will? Things going I'm, well, I see, right? I obviously <laughs> because we have done enough podcast episodes and I haven't drank enough Zevia, not sponsored, of course. I forgot to record the like the first 20 minutes of this episode. It's a good thing I looked in the middle and not at the end, because then we would have to do this yes. again. So anyway, we are happy to be here, guys. Thank you very much for our patience for not having an episode. To be honest, I don't know if y'all watch this episode and care, but we like you very much. Please enjoy all the training videos that we have been providing over the last few months. Uh, we thank you for the feedback, the questions that you were giving us. Please ask them. We respond to every single comment that you guys write up. Frank sometimes yep. writes in there. I write in there. We want to give you a lot of great training content. And now with everything that was announced today, we have a lot more <laughs> videos to do a lot of stuff big day for apple mm -hmm. big, big day that's right the mac pro has finally has a m1 <laughs> chip so now it is complete thank you for joining us for the episode no i'm joking we're, we're gonna have a lot more to talk <laughs> about all right so let's dive into the hardware first because we're gonna go in the order that they announced everything so we're gonna talk about the macbook air studio and the mac pro mac whatever you want to call it whatever the thing no one's gonna buy the mac pro Let's talk about the 15 inch MacBook Air. Uh, All right. So, big, big 15 fan. 15 inch MacBook Air. You I'm got a big fan 3. of it. 3 pounds, right? Four, four colors, 1080p camera, six speakers, M2 chip, uh, 17 hour battery, twice as fast, uh, and twice the battery life of any PC in that market out there. Yeah. But by the way, when they kept doing that, that was annoying me because they didn't mention which PC it was. And I don't well, know what they're talking. About. Like, how many? Every did they get every single laptop that's a PC, and they said this is more powerful than that. Like that PC. What PC were they talking about? It was probably the Gateway. Oh, that <laughs> one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know that, they bought, that was bought at Circuit City, right? Recently. Yes. Yes. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, th that was kind of stupid. But bottom line is that they have a 15 inch, but the same price, by the way, that last year's model was. They discounted that down to 100. dollars So now we have a 9.99, a 10.99, and a 12.99 for a fit to 15 inch, uh, you know, Mac at 12.99. That has never. Ha when was the last time you saw a 15 inch Mac at 12.99? Because you're not going to find one. Never. Never, never. This is the first time it's at that price used point. market. <laughs> well, yeah. that's different. But for for this amount of money, it's a no brainer to buy that MacBook. Air. That that is that is the perfect first computer. And I would for a hundred dollars, you might as well just get the yeah. fifteen inch. Well, I I uh, priced out the MacBook Air thirteen, sixteen gig of RAM, one terabyte comes in at seventeen ninety nine. The fifteen inch, same specs, eighteen ninety nine. So, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely something that if you need that portability, that's the one something. Yeah. Absolutely. And then the Mac Studio got upgraded from an M1 Ultra and a Max to an M2 Ultra and a Max. So yes. they really, uh, you know, that's really it. Everything else, as far as the design of it, stayed the same, which is fine because the Mac Studio is a brand new machine. It's a great machine. Uh, I, I wish I had a reason to get one, but, you know, having this 16 inch in my house, uh, along with my Thunderbolt display, which I absolutely love, uh, I absolutely love it. What's this one priced out at? If you were to go all which the way, one? the studio. Oh. You don't have it. Don't okay. Know. All right. Well, no, don't worry. I, don't. I got it for you. Don't worry about it, everybody. I'm right here. It's at $8,799. Uh -oh. If you would like to max this out with eight terabytes of SSD, 192 gigs. Who needs 192 gigs? Yeah. I, I, I don't. Somebody. Somebody needs it. Somebody. They, 
why did they come up with that number? I mean, they could have stopped at that half of that, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah, I could. So somebody somewhere had to have that requirement. I am waiting for someone to build, you know, that out with the highest specs and then export a project or create a project and see how good it is. Well, I, you know, I mean, they're touting this for uh, professional filmmakers and, and uh, you know, <laughs> maybe somewhere along the line, they need that kind of horsepower. I don't know. Yep. I well, mean, it's available if you want it. Can you use I'm that? a wedding videographer, though. I mean, I, I'm at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to video making. OK, so let's get YouTube video. YouTube people get more respect than I do. OK, <laughs> so, that's the truth. Well, you're a YouTube video person. We are. That's Come why on. we create the great content here on our YouTube yeah. channel on Apple One to One. You better be subscribing. Let's now talk about the Mac Pro. Now, I spec this out because the Mac Pro has the same M2 Ultra built into it, which means the price is or what the specs are exactly the same as the studio. So that means for what three thousand dollars, what you're getting yes. in return for that is this. Big cheese grater design with PCI slots, which is the yes. same as the previous model. They just stuck. Well, you're paying for the cabinet. All that, all that recycled <laughs> aluminum costs. That's true, and they assemble it here, and apparently in California. So yes, let's talk about that. So the purpose of this Mac is for only reason to buy this is because you want to expand with the PCI slots, and that is it. There is no other it, reason to buy this Mac. It it is for a specific niche market. There's there's mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Um, Did Apple try? Do you think Apple tried? Tried to what? Great, tried to make something like they just wanted to beat. They just wanted to make everything silicon, right? Now, no, there's no more Intel anymore. There's no more Intel Macs. Well, so I think they had the decision to either expand the pro or get rid of it and i don't think they're ready to get rid of it yet right and that's what the result is this uh i, I would say right. maybe a lazy attempt of providing you with a expandable machine but i think what people really want is be able to take a more apple silicon and kind of play around with the apple silicon combine wow. apple silicon you know what i think people want is the quality and the integrity of an apple product and then they want to open it up and do whatever they want with it mm -hmm. okay and then when something goes wrong they want to go back to apple and say hey you know you got to fix this and apple's gonna say no that's not how it works right well you the only thing apple is providing is extra extra ssd storage you are allowed to buy that and put that in yes. the machine itself so but that apple comes at a price tag though uh, everything comes at a price tag. I mean, we're, we didn't get right. to the end of this yet, <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to get to that. Uh, but yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's great that they finally made the transition. There was no point of paying fifty four thousand dollars for a Mac Pro with with all that Intel crap when you have a nice chip built into it that only costs twelve thousand dollars right now. That that's a humongous. I Price difference. I mean, think about it. Remember, Afterburner, that's not built into the chip when it was a separate piece of hardware. All the different right, right. types of GPUs you could have put in. You don't need that I, anymore. I, you already got it built into the chip. Yeah, I think one of the things we're kind of overlooking, I mean, we're mentioning it, but we're kind of just moving on afterwards, is that the power of the Apple chips yeah. um, really is incredible. Uh, yeah, I agree. It, it, you know, you, it's hard to comprehend what they're doing in one chip mm -hmm. and the power on that chip. That yeah, That's, you know, I mean... I think people, people have just gotten to the point now where they're just so... If you have the M1 experience, it's like you're in now and it's like right. you're not going to be impressed right. with anything else because you already are impressed with what you got. You know, you're right. trying to find a reason to buy more and buy more and you just can't, you know. Right right now i mean you just got a studio i have a 16 inch macbook pro i have no reason to upgrade this anytime soon you know so well i think these purchases the the longevity 
of the the studio that I have with the M1, the the equipment you have, I I do believe the life expectancy of those machines are longer than they used to be, which I kind of. Well, we're going to see in a couple of years, though, how long Apple Silicon really lasts. How long do these not have a power issue? And how long do they not have a quality program? You know, because right, right. quality programs, I, I, I can't imagine they're not going to be one for some specific reason out there. But let's go past the Mac Pro now. Let's talk about iOS 17, iPad OS, Watch OS. We're going to just kind of combine all of these things together. What was like, yeah. what was the more impressive thing? that you liked out of all the OSs that they announced today. Uh, we'll, we'll keep Mac OS a little separate. All right. What would you um, say was I, the most impressive thing? Well, well, I don't know about the most impressive, but the things I liked about them was uh, personalized contact posters. I thought that was a little pretty intriguing. Got to put some work into uh, those because you got to customize each one of them. There's, there is right, some work right. that's got to go into them. So I just want to um, point that out. The live voicemail. Yeah, I live love voicemail. the transcription, the live transcription. I think that's very useful. And that does include um, FaceTime as well with audio and video. So you can leave video voicemails now. You can leave audio voicemails now. Uh, even if you yeah, do a FaceTime call, because I do FaceTime calls. So I love it. Yeah, I, I think and then it's you great. Can leave a, that, that's nice where you can leave an actual video as a mm-hmm. message. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um in the message app, they had some neat features where you hit this up arrow will take you back to the top message. That you haven't read um, yet. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. You love your live uh, stickers, man. I know you want to take a picture of me. Oh, have, yeah, the stickers. And copy yeah. and put me on messages. I'm waiting for you to do that. Yeah. And then the um, journal app, you know, for those who absolutely need to write stuff down, I think this is, you know, a great feature to have. Now, uh, the the well, you know, airdrop features are going to be cool, too. Yeah, and then how you can create those stickers from pictures. Yeah, just how you used to, you know, you tap on the picture and hold it, and it'll take that image out of the picture, and you can just automatically slide it up, and make it mm-hmm. a sticker. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, also, the check-in feature yep. mm-hmm. is nice. Um, how often do you ask somebody, "Hey, you know, when when you get home, send me a text. Make sure you get home all right." Well, now you. There's a feature where you can start that when you leave one location. When you get to another location, it'll automatically send it. Yes. So I think that's a nice feature. One thing I'm really happy they brought back on the watch specifically, Watch 10 definitely got a nice little facelift. And the fact that they now have the smart stack back with the with the digital crown, because right now when I yeah. use my watch and I scroll, it doesn't do anything. Like it just stays there. Now it has the ability to change faces based on what you're doing. You know, I I like that. They came out with two new ones. They did a lot of workout with cycling, hiking, uh, maps now, even uh, like pinpoint your last cellular spot, which is, that's pretty cool. Uh, So they added uh, some good things in there that will be very helpful. Yeah, they integrated the compass a little more into a couple of apps um, in hiking and uh, whatever. I mean, those are pretty nice. The compatibility um, also, the Apple Watch, I was a little worried about this because I still have a Series 4. It's still compatible, which I'm I'm happy to hear that I can still use yeah. this because I was getting to the point where I thought maybe Apple might drop it, but they didn't. So I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. Well, aren't you going to get your uh, Ultra? I don't know. We'll see. I'm, try- I'm trying to justify oh. it. I, gotta, I might have to save up for something else. Uh, <laughs> you got to put some pressure on Luke, man. Father's Day is coming. Uh, he already bought me a belt last year. I think we're we're good on that. Uh, but, but iPad OS. By the way, the, the fill in the PDF thing. It's about time they have that. Uh, yes, that, I was happy to yeah. see that. That's going to be very useful. Yes, even the uh, another iOS feature where anybody that's recorded audio, you can see the the transcribe of that, which is nice. Yes, the transcription. Oh, yeah. and um, then the, I, to me, one I, of my I think th- good. I was just going to say, uh, we should probably do a video on how to save signatures so that when you bring in a PDF, you can just bring in your signature from your iPad or your phone yep. and just drop it right in. All right, good. Now you have something to make this week. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, one of my other favorite features, FaceTime. Big changes with FaceTime, along with the things we already talked about, but going to the Apple TV with FaceTime. That to me is amazing. Yeah. You know, if we can't get a device that can already do it, you have to put your iPad or your iPhone like 
you know, away from you. Yep. So that way you can do the call uh, the way you want to do it with the Apple TV. But it just shows like what they could create. Imagine Apple creating like, yeah, so a sound bar that just goes above your television and it could have the HomePod feature. It could have the camera built into it. How cool would that be? Right now you got to use your, your yeah. phone or your iPad, but you have to get used to it. Yeah, but using your phone, I mean, it's, it's an awesome camera. Why not? And mm-hmm. if it's just as sim- as easy as uh, you saw the, how they had it on a uh, charging adapter and then just boom, mm-hmm. there you are. Mm-hmm. You know? And, a- and everybody's on the big screen. This is another simple one, too. Sharing your password with trusted contacts, that's going to be great. I think that's like, there are definitely things that we share that we would absolutely uh, be much easier to do. Have you done anything with the pass keys? No. They made a distinction between password and pass keys. Mm -hmm. So um, I have to look more into the pass keys. Uh, I also like the fact that in uh, Safari, you can set up profiles. You can have one for school, yes. one for work. Uh, That's one great for, for personal. Me. That is so great for yes. me because I like using Safari over Chrome any day. But yeah. because yeah. of it, I don't want to interact with my stuff, I use a separate, you know, app for that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like, yeah, I would agree. Like, we could have a separate s- setup for our one to one, Apple one to one setup. And one for personal. So mm-hmm. depending upon what we want to do, we could get into Safari with one profile or the other. Mm-hmm. And they wouldn't inter- necessarily interfere with each other. Yep. Uh, let's talk about the new Mac OS. Mac OS 14, I believe it's going to be the number. And, of course, they built up the naming convention like they always do. And Mac OS Sonoma. I was like, okay, I kind of dig it. Yeah. I was really like yeah. a Ventura only because of Ace Ventura. That was the only reason why I liked it so much. I but thought they were going to just do Napa Valley. So That's what I thought originally first. I thought they were going to do Mac OS Napa, which that's probably next year now, now that we've said yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Apple. You can take that one. But uh, the widgets coming on the main screen. I can tell you right now, my desktop on the left, like the left side here, I have nothing there. And the idea of these being there when you like first launch and on top of it, kind of fading in the background as you move apps around. Love that. I am so happy that yes. we're coming. Yeah. Uh, because I'll be honest, you go to the side and you click it, it it's so useless to me being over there where it just disappears. And you remember back in the day when Apple first had, when the Mac OS Leopard came out, they had those widgets. Right. Like that was a separate screen, which was so cool to yeah. have. And then they got rid of it. Yep. You know, so I'm really yeah, happy think, about this. I, yeah, I think I have to get more into using it. You know, I got so used to like, well, you know, I don't really need the widgets. You know what I mean? But now if you can have them on, the, on your homepage, let's say, and they fade in and out based on whether they're active or inactive. And if you're a person that likes to change your background periodically, they will uh, become translucent to that background. Mm-hmm. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, you talk about the video conferencing. Video conferencing that overlays. Is cool. That's a, that is I like that. So cool. Like, and you don't yeah. need anything special for that. It's Apple Silicon running it. I think that I think you have to have Apple Silicon for it to work. But it is really neat to have your presentation separated from the background. I don't know how they do that, but that is that yeah. is really neat. We'll have to try that. We'll have to try that because mm-hmm. you can superimpose our wonderful faces. <laughs> On, on a presentation, we can just point and direct and say, hey, you know, over here, over there. Yeah. So, And then they're also doing, uh, you know, game mode is coming to Mac OS Sonoma. And apparently what they're able to do is that you're able, they're able to come out with, they came up with a kit that is going to allow games that are already made for Xbox and PlayStation to port over to Mac. So I'm really curious if mm. this is going to be something people will do or not. So, obviously, the rule is going to be you're going to have to have your stuff on the Mac App Store for this to be a thing. But yeah. I would be very curious if gaming well, uh, is I, going to be I, a big deal. I bought my grandson um, uh, Xbox, um, the Harry Potter, um, uh, what's the school name? I don't know. 
I don't watch. I don't know. But anyway, the legends of the whatever the school is. He's he's loves that game. He plays. I know legends ball. of the hidden temple. That's the game I know of. But go ahead. Oh. Uh, but get a point. Get a point there. No, no. Okay. Well, the point there is that if he can transport that to a Mac, I think he would. That would be interesting. You know. But we'll have to see. Mm-hmm. Well, because then. No matter what games you have, if you can play it on a on a Mac based machine, um, that's going to be nice. Yeah, I. So let's talk about it, the main event. This is the one more thing that has not been around in one maybe more since thing the, since the Apple Watch. I don't know about Apple Silicon. Did they do the? One, I don't think they did that with Apple Silicon, but which I think deserved a one more thing. But this was the biggest announcement since Apple Silicon. Uh, yes, and here we are. The new Vision Pro. Yep. Uh, now, here's the thing. You're going to have to go watch the video to see everything. I don't think talking about the specs of it is going to be important here. To talk about, well, number there's, one, there's... number one, go ahead. are you going to buy this product for $3,499? Go. Oh, it's not $30,000. It's it's. <laughs> $39.99, $3,000. No, it's not. Try Almost again. Four. 30, but four, it's $3,499 for yeah. this product. All right. Um, All right I'm, I'm telling you right now, are you going to buy it? Yes uh, or no? <sighs> You're rich. I, I have. Uh, <laughs> you have I'm no you, job. You, well, you, let, all right, let me, let me answer that this way. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just the politician in me. I'll, here's how I'll answer that. Based on the presentation, it appears as though it's worth every penny. Now, mm-hmm. why I say that is this. When you put those glasses on, you can actually see through them. They're not blocking your vision of whatever room you're in. That's correct. And... With your eyes and the clicking of your thumb and finger, you can activate apps, move them around. So your eyes can the, move. Yes. And the thing that really impressed me was I'm like, this is what they call spatial computerization. I mean, this mm-hmm. is you can you can change your room background to be a mountain. Yeah. Or an outside scene. And I mean, you have to watch that section of the presentation to really look at this and go, wow. I mean, they they gave you 40 minutes of of a whole bunch of stuff, and especially the the tech behind it, too, which, how many patents do they have? The fact that you can have the fact that you can have all, what's that? How many patents do they have? As oh, many pounds as it patent. costs, as much as it costs to buy that product, <laughs> the dollar patent. It's like almost a dollar a patent. It's almost a dollar a patent, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but listen, it's got twenty-three million pixels per eye. Yeah, that's a lot. I, I, I mean, they they showed a panoramic photo that somebody took that was, uh, I mean, it, you remember when you used to go to. Um, I guess Disney, where you would stand in this room and you would get a whole 360 display. Uh That's what it's like. That's what it's like. Uh And um, the fact that you can have all of your Mac apps on there or access to them. And it doesn't rely on a phone. Let's make that point clear. A lot of people thought the phone had to do Somewhere along the line, I have to assume you're logging in with your Apple ID and password, and it's probably imperative that you're using um, your iCloud drive. Mm -hmm. You're accessing all of the apps, all of your files from the iCloud drive. And to me, that's exciting Mm because you can take this headset anywhere. Yep. Connect to any network, and, and boom, you're there. And you can interact with the actual people that are around you. It, and then it, when you're doing FaceTime, it creates, I thought that was pretty cool. It creates a pers- what they call the persona 
that yeah. looks like you yeah. is, is like a like an avatar yeah right but mm -hmm. it's but it looks like you right uh, well, I think the idea of the eyes coming through on the screen, even though it's not really your eyes, because technically there's they can't see through you, but right. it projects a image of your eyes exactly the way they are. That's really freaky. Like like be like I I've mean, never seen that ever. You know, I, I'm telling you, you ask me if I'm going to buy it. I'm, there are a lot of things in there that, that say to me, you know what? That's like, to me, that's the computer of the future. Like, just put it on and go wherever you want to go. Now, the downside, uh, I was disappointed that you only had two hours of battery life. That is a real big disappointment, yes. I mean, mm -hmm. Apple will have to provide you a extremely long cord if you need to plug this in. Like, a long cord. Like, I'm talking, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if Apple really wants us to make us feel comfortable with this thing... You need to give us like a 25 foot cord, which they're probably going to give you like a 10 foot cord. Knowing or, that. you know, have a separate device that's, you know, maybe a little heavier um, with bigger battery. That take, take the MacBook Air, right? It's that battery does three. look small. I mean, that battery does look like a smaller. I'm surprised they just want to come out with a bigger battery. They might, they might, well, they might. Well, that's uh, what I'm yeah. saying. If you, if you come out with like a three pound battery, clip to your belt like like the air and you get 17 hours of battery pop mm -hmm. i mean you know and you have to decide do you rather have the weight in your head or the weight in your pocket you know and that's and and, and obviously yeah. if you don't if you're if you're home you don't have to do that you're supposed to just be able to plug it anywhere you are but they would have and, to, this has to be a really long cord for it to really work yeah well the other thing is too the way they were describing the sound it's mm -hmm. it's Totally immersive. Um, Here's, I mean, uh, I'm going to give you the perfect cold. scenario where I think I would like to have this. Number one, outside. If I want to watch, I have a projector, right, that I would right. throw my stuff out there. If I have the ability to go outside and watch something with, outside, I could make the screen as big as I want. I could at least feel the outside near me and have like a big projector of that that to me is cool i love the entertainment aspect of yeah, it but here's here's the thing you don't have to go outside to do yeah, that yeah but i want to feel the air i'm talking about just being outside in general just i just it's, get a couple a of big feeling. fans to blow on you you know no, what I mean? no. <laughs> not, the, no, not the same thing i i want to i want to be outside like i would have my own projector the idea of this taking over that would be great here's the problem someone is if someone is right next to you and they're you know they obviously can't see that um, if they don't have one, so it's almost like both of you have to have it. It's going to make right, date nights right. kind of tough. You can't do this. Well, with, yeah, they they projected that it's like you could talk to someone else in the same room. That is going to be really, really difficult to do. I think this is great if you're by yourself. You know, you want to watch your own TV shows. I think this is great for that. But if you're going to be with, if you're living with somebody. You know, you kind of got to go off on your own and, and kind of do this thing. It's really hard to have yep. that conversation with somebody. But wait a minute. Wait a minute, Will. How All many right. times have you been in a room or out to dinner with somebody, right? And everybody's sitting at the restaurant or the dinner table or in your living room. Some people are watching the TV. Some people are got playing on their phones. That's the way society is today. It's mm -hmm. not like, okay, you have one TV when you were a kid, you, you watched the family TV and you watched whatever show your father wanted to watch. Okay. Now you don't like what's on the TV. Everybody's on their phone doing, doing their own thing. Same kind of deal. But, but I like the, the intriguing thing for me is the fact that you can have all of your Mac apps up. Uh oh, I should say this. I hated this part of it. They also said, oh, by the way, you can have your Microsoft Office apps. I wish they would stop that. I wish they would. No, just... they're gonna have, for business reasons, they're definitely going to have to have Yeah, but anyway. So anyway, you can have all your Mac apps, your photos, your your calendars, your, your contacts, Mickey Mouse's. Mail, everything. <laughs> 
right there. I mean, it, it, it's like, oh, my God. Just think of it. If I had one of those, we could be doing this podcast, and I could have my headset on, and I could be wherever. Zoom is, I think Zoom is part of this. Uh, yeah, support. Zoom is part of it, yeah. Um, and then and Zoom... Um, I mean, they also, by the way, they also did create the R1 chip out of this, which is designed to yes. process input from all the cameras mm-hmm. and sensors. Like, you're supposed to be naturally sitting down and that we could just move our hands and move around without, you know, obviously with the Quest, you have controllers, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, because I, I was looking at Twitter. You uh, regarding- see through the goggles. Right. You know, right. There, it doesn't, it's not like the Oculus where it's, solid and you can't see through it you you're actually looking through it and it's projecting or appear to be be projecting the apps and whatever out in front of you and you just i mean i man i can't wait to try it i just can't wait so, so would i buy it yeah i'm on board man i'm on board <laughs> i mean it's you know let's face it it's another toy uh-huh mm-hmm. You know, uh, and for a guy like me that, you know, what do you get the guy that has everything? Right. Apple Vision Pro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Marquez, who's like the big YouTube guy, he spent 30 minutes in the Apple Vision Pro headset. And he said he's very impressed with the, with a lot of things about it. So I think from a technology standpoint, this is a breakthrough product yes. a breakthrough product yeah it is is it, it going to be able really are, can you justify it for 34.99 plus tax which by the way gives you yeah. about 110 dollars back using your apple card <laughs> so uh hey i mentioned this to somebody i said do you maybe you don't but i do that ibm used to have a commercial where the guy had a pair of glasses on, similar to mine, and he was sitting in a, in Italy in a plaza with a fountain out in front of him and pigeons in the courtyard there, and he was pointing his finger, looking at apps and things projected out in front of him, and he said something and he scared the pigeons and they flew. This is what that commercial depicted. Mm-hmm. This is the computing of the future. Mm-hmm. It just... From that headset, who knows if it can go on a, a regular pair of glasses or something, you know? I mean, that that headset's only going to get better and better as, as time goes on. So when the Apple Watch came out, uh, I remember that it took us about till the next year, about the same time frame that they're telling us that this is going to be coming out. And if you remember, the Apple Watch, the first generation just wasn't, as I think, as successful. I think that they, especially the way we... We're promoting it as a jewelry product more than a health and fitness product, yeah. and well, that was a, well, that don't was a, forget they had the gold one, yeah, right? Yeah, they, 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 they made a lot. Of, they had, I think they made a lot of mistakes with that watch in the beginning, but it turned around, and I think this is no different. But I definitely think the only way this works is that Apple needs to put this in stores immediately, and you need to test this in the store before it comes out. Yeah. You have yeah. to do this before oh, yeah. it comes out. I think they mentioned yeah. that, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, but you, you I, almost, well, It's almost like you have to schedule playtime with it in stores. Mm-hmm. And I, I bet you, uh, watch pre-orders. that line. That line's going to be long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. You're only getting one of the Apple Free Store, which, by the way, got a remodel. That, about time. Yeah. Uh, that are, that um, did you go to the store? I have not been there. I got to go. We, we should just do a video. I haven't been there either. Yeah. Go you know, look at but, our old uh, store has uh, remodeled to a brand new store, but yeah, this uh, you have to go see this lot. I think the idea of being an like NBA game like that, or the ESPN idea, the Disney things they were showing, I, yeah, yeah, there are definitely reasons to take a look at this. I think I honestly they're not going to make that many, but I think they're going to sell all of them. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? I I think you know, it, it's almost like they're going to make them to order. Right. You know, um, because I mean, you don't want to have a lot of overstock on these. No. And by the way, you better get Apple Care Plus for that thing, because I swear to God, if something happens to that thing, <laughs> bet, especially that glass, you know that thing will crack once it hits the floor. Oh, if you do it wrong. I'm t- but I'm telling you, Will, I, I I saw all of those apps and how you can just, mm-hmm. you, you can be at your office in your home or you can be in your office 
I think the idea of me working and then my messages being here, like there is definitely reasons that it works. Is it a necessary product? No. Is it no. the future? Ten years from now, I could see this being good. Right now, I see this as a very niche, not important, but well, a very think of big, a very on a very big breakthrough in technology that I do find that at some point this will eventually work when the price is right. Bob Barker. Well, here, here's how I'm looking <laughs> at the price. Okay. All right. So you're at $3,500. Because right. remember, everyone sees Apple has at 30 without understanding anything tech wise about this product. All they right, see is right, Apple right. headset. $3,500. That's it. You right. don't, without knowing anything else, if you saw that right. headline and you weren't an Apple fan, you'd be like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, but wait. So here's how I'm looking at it. You, If you bought a Mac Studio, right? And you bought a 32 inch monitor. So you're in for at least that much money, if not oh, maybe a little more. So now, you don't need a 32-inch monitor because the whole room, the whole expanse yeah. is your monitor. Yeah. It can be, uh-huh. you know, so, I, so I'm looking at that and I'm saying, I, you, your screen is unlimited. And you can size each one of those apps to as big or as small as you want. Yeah. I mean... This is where I'm what I'm saying is you really have to immerse yourself in it, look at what it can do. And if just by clicking your fingers, sizing an app to half the size of your room, and you can bring in um the you can like if you're doing furniture, for example, and you want to see furniture in a room, you can add that augmented reality in real time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I mean, to me, it's that's pretty pretty crazy. I, I I'm so this I'm is probably gonna this is this is probably gonna be the most returned item that Apple has ever sold <laughs> because people are just gonna buy it to try it. Yeah, unless Apple charges a restocking fee, which I think you know Apple used to do that back in the day. I don't know if they're gonna do it because this is a very hard product to resell again uh, because it's well, like because of the I, that's thing. where I think we hit where we mentioned earlier. If you can set up playtime with this, yeah. You know, like during holiday season, yeah, yeah, and you get people in that are put it on, and you you can demo it with them. Like that's like, poo, man, you're yeah. you're like, okay, you like it, yeah, okay, you want to pre order, yeah, and don't, and don't make it. And remember with the Apple Watch, they had like they didn't really have the OS ready to go. It was kind of like they were just scrolling right, through right. things. Then this thing needs to be a hundred percent ready to go as far as. Yes. and they said that yeah, all these yeah. apps are going to work with it when this launches, but. They got to make this when they demo this in the store, and they better do it before it's released, which I think they're going to do. You need to uh, well, allow me, people this experience. What a way to get people to the me, Apple Store, by the way, too. Not only that, it's just a Bible stuff. You know, it's yeah, that's, that's a great marketing for tool me for that. To prove that it, yeah, but for me to prove that it works, I don't need to see the games. I know the oh, games will come. Right. For me, the the proof is in the pudding of the apps. Yes. Numbers, pages, keynote, FaceTime, messages, photos, maps. I, I mean, if that works mm-hmm. seamlessly, I'm in. All yeah. the other stuff to me is icing the on the cake. Yep. You, get, you get those core products to work like your portable, like your iPad, like your phone. <laughs> Dude, the you can just walk around with that headset all day long. Yeah. Well, you can't. You only have two hours. So <laughs> you can't. <laughs> but yeah, all right. We'll end, we'll end it there. So we have about six, six to eight months before we really see this product, you know, physically in our hands. Right now, we're going to just look at a lot of WW. I would go check out anybody that was at WWDC, see their videos, their impressions of it. I think it's very important to take a look at. I'm looking forward to hearing the feedback from you guys and the comments, what your thoughts are about it uh you know yes it's expensive but there is a lot of technology in this i think that people will not appreciate so 
to be honest. You have well, to. Well, the, the one thing they I won't. would but ask I already told, to... I saw my wife's reaction. Trust me. She will not appreciate this product. Especially if I'm wearing it in the same room with her. I can tell you right now, she will hate this product. Because there are going to be people who think we're moving further and further away from physical interaction to going into this augmented reality oh, world. yeah. And people aren't yes. ready for that. But, but, well, you know, again, it's like moderation. To me, I would use it for computing purposes, not necessarily um, for family time, mm -hmm. okay? I'm looking mm -hmm. at it like as a replacement for my computer where I can just be anywhere, put it on my head, mm -hmm. and all my stuff is right there, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and, and like I, I said, I, I think anybody, if you're going to make a comment on, on this, I, what I would ask you to do first is go to the keynote to that section where they show all the stuff that we're talking about and watch it, then make your comment. Because yeah. I don't think our discussion of has really done it justice. I mean, no. people will listen to what I say. Man, he's a total fanboy. And yeah, I am. We are. But, we are. It's called Apple One to One. I mean, that's what our show's yeah. about. But you got to see it. And, mm -hmm. and I think the important thing is going to be at the Apple stores. If you can get in there and try it out, I think it's it's going to be a big seller. By the way, I already well, looked at YouTube, before. I already looked at the YouTube. <laughs> I already looked at the YouTube uh, video of introducing the Apple Vision Pro. It's already got three point two million views in seven hours on YouTube. So that just wow. shows you a lot of people are very interested in seeing this. But yep. let's. Uh, we hope to hear from you guys. We just because the podcast is very short, Mike. We have to cut the time. Okay. You know, we have we could talk about a lot of this stuff. We could do separate videos about it, but let's uh, just enjoy the day. You know, go back, watch the keynote, look at other people's videos that were live there. Great stuff, Frank. It was good to doing a podcast again and actually recording it this time. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but that's all for today. Thank you for guys very much. Like and subscribe. We do appreciate all of you, and I love every single one of you. Take care. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.